Why, yes, I do roll my own. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. This uh, last week has not been a very good one for me because I have been sick. Um, but through that I was able to get out a few videos and uh, they were actually pretty good. I did a video on uh, smoothing figured wood and I kind of went through some of the different things with the, the card scraper, cabinet scraper, um, and I kind of wanted to show off the new plane that I just got. And uh, this was a lot of fun, um, a, a great plane to use and is my now go-to smoother. Uh, I had a lot of interesting questions on there and I really don't have time to go into that as much on here. Um, but that was a, a, a good video with a lot of little bit of information in it. The second one on Saturday was actually the new leg vise. And holy cow, this video is my number one best performing video of all time now. Um, so fantastic. And it has been a blast. This leg vise is extremely solid and um, working phenomenally for me. And it, not only does it look good, but it is very, very useful. So yeah, um, I'm in love. <laughs> Uh, one of the questions I did get a lot on the leg vise is actually where I can get the hardware, so the brass ring. Um, I made my own in the video, but you can actually order those now um, completely made up with the screw kit uh, from Red Rose Productions. And I'll leave a link to them in the description below. Um, I love the kit and I have I've been enjoying it, so definitely um, go take a look at that. If you're looking at the screw, it's just easy to go buy the ring with it as well. And uh, there are a few other things that they're planning on bringing out. Um, they also have the brass or you can get the, the black, um, so you can kind of pick through those. This next week, the couple videos I'm planning on, number one, I made a tool roll for my carving chisels, and this has 38 slots in it, and it's made of this really nice, um, very, very flexible six ounce leather. Um, and I'm really liking how this came out. This is a great project to work on when I was sick, because I could do it um, upstairs on the couch while sewing. So it was a really good, um, fun little project. And I'm really looking forward to putting that video out. The second one I'm going to be doing is on winding sticks. Um, and I'm planning on making this a long format video, so or somewhere around 30 minutes or so, where I'm actually going to go into detail on a couple different ways of making winding sticks, how to use them, and uh, some basic information on them. So hopefully that will be a useful video. After that, I'm hoping to have some free time that I can actually work on the dresser. So hopefully we'll be having a few videos coming out on that uh, with piston fitting drawers and hopefully getting into soon on dovetails. I want to be able to um, do dovetail drawers here soon, um, cutting grooves, uh, resawing the bottoms, things like that. I'll be able to have a, a few videos out with that. Hopefully in a week or two, I will have the next installment on dresser builds and that should take it through uh, framing up the drawers, hopefully. And uh, it might come along, so we might see some things on that. <laughs> As we come up to the end of the month, I'm going to be doing the next um, monthly giveaway on Patreon. And this month, I'm actually giving away a number three uh, Sargent. And this is a cute little plane that I restored mm, about five, six months ago. Um, and it was my go-to number three until I found a Stanley. And I really don't have any particular need to this, but this one is in great condition and feels good. Um, works perfectly, so I'm going to be giving this one away in the Patreon giveaway. Um, all you have to do is be a patron on Patreon, and I will randomly pick uh, one of you and send this out. So I'm looking forward to uh, giving that out. I just set up the next live Q&A. Uh, that'll be done on the 26th at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, so you can kind of calculate when that will be for you. Uh, I'm gonna be doing each of them at a different time. So usually I'll do one Saturday afternoon and then I'll do another one weekday in the evening. Um, and then I'll do another one weekday during the day. And that way different people um, around the world can get on at different times. Um, so I'm gonna be doing those three different times and I'll kind of rotate through them month to month. So this Thursday, the 26th at 8.30 p.m., I'll be doing the next uh, live Q&A. Um, if you have any questions for that, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I will add those to the list and uh, we'll start with those questions and should be a fun time. So the Patreon question of the week is from Travis Reese and he asked, how do you cut an angle on a board easily? So if you have a saw coming in and you need to cut a 45 degree angle across the board, um, how do you keep your hand uh, so that it is not causing a problem. And one of the things that is an issue as soon as you start to go on an angle is that you tend to follow the line and your side of the line is correct, but the other side of the line is not. 
And the reason is that where the saw penetrates the board, that becomes a fulcrum point and the saw starts to turn. And so if you learn which way your hand is going, you can correct that um, and bring your hand back to the same point. Your, your fulcrum, the point at which it's, it's penetrating the board, will usually stay put because that's what you're watching. Um, the other thing that can make it really easy, if you want to cut at a 45 degree as you turn the board so that you're now cutting at a 90 degree um, to the, the bench as opposed to the work. And that can make things a lot easier. There's sometimes when you just can't avoid it, you have to cut at a weird angle and it takes a little bit of skill. Uh, but if you start to see your veering on the back side of the board, um, keep in mind where your hand needs to be to correct that and you're turning the saw to match the angle that it needs to be. So I hope that answers your question. I might do a video on that in the future because it's not as easy just to do that as it would be to show it. So if you want to see a video, let me know in the comments below. Last, the shout out of the week goes to The Cordless Carpenter, um, another YouTube channel who's um, hand tool woodworking and I really like what he's doing. A lot of um, very long, in-depth, drawn-out videos that if you really want a lot of information, that information that comes that as you're working on it, you're describing what you're doing, um, he's really putting out some interesting stuff over there. And uh, I really say go take a look at it. It's some really cool ideas, fantastic woodworking, and uh, I'm really liking his videos. He just put one out this morning, and I'm enjoying it. He's working on some dovetails for a little um, jewelry box, and it's looking really cool. So I'm looking forward to seeing the end of that. Definitely go check out uh, The Cordless Woodworker. So I hope you enjoyed all the information and uh, things coming up. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you would like to be entered into the drawing for the hand plane, uh, you can go ahead and click on the Patreon link over here and it'll take you to that. Also, if you did like the video, please hit like and smash that subscribe button. Feel free to check out one of my other videos. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.